Beloved, we're gathered together on this beautiful spring afternoon in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted by God and signifies to us a union which exists between Christ and his church. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> You're pretty. <laughs> you know, oh, thanks. You're pretty. I don't yeah, like your dress. You got your step on it, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're gorgeous. <laughs> well, summer is the big day. It's April 1st of 2017. Uh, it's real exciting to think you're going to be my wife for the rest of our lives. I uh, hope I'm as good as a husband as you have been to me as a fiance. I'm sure that you will be as a wife. I got this letter though that I wrote was, uh, last night. It's three pages long. I know it's probably going to be too long for you to read in front of everybody. I understand. I thought about that last night. But even if you skim through it, you'll get the gist of it. Honey, I love you and I'm just glad to be with you. to me and I'm so excited to start this journey together. I love you with all my heart. I love you Summer and I'm so happy for you to start this chapter in your life. Heavenly Father, we give you thanksgiving another day in our lives and father for this joyous and momentous occasion that draws us together this afternoon as we're able to witness the exchange of the rings the making of vows and covenants and promises between Cody and Summer we thank you father for their years of, of dating learning one another getting to know one another and finally this day has come for us to share in their marriage. We're thankful for them and for their good families. And we pray that we'll be an inspiration to them and they to us. We thank you for Jesus, who talked about marriage and his ministry as he related it all the way back to Adam and Eve. So we know how special and significant and important marriage is in your overall plan. And we just pray your blessings on our ceremony and on this wonderful occasion for us to be together today. In the name of Jesus, we pray our prayer. Amen. Cody, I want to ask you first of all, do you take this woman summer to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love her, to live together after the ordinance of God, to honor her, to cherish her in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in adversity, and be faithful to her so long as you both shall live. I do. Okay, Summer, do you take this man, Cody, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together after the ordinances of God, to love him, honor him, and cherish him in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in adversity, and to be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? I do. Well, inasmuch as you two have privately consented to give yourselves to each other, you've dated for a long period of time, and you've done the same before these witnesses, by the authority vested in me as a minister in Churches of Christ and by the great state of the uncommon commonwealth of Kentucky, I now pronounce you husband and wife, 
And now, Cody, I know you've waited for this moment. <laughs> now you can kiss your bride. It's about time. become angry easily. It does not remember wrongs done against it. Love is not happy with evil, but is happy with the truth. Love patiently accepts all things. It always trusts, always hopes, and always continues strong. Love never ends. 